Penny, I want to play part of Stormy Daniels' interview with Pierce Morgan. Give you any kind of closure with your time involving Donald Trump to see him um, jailed? Specific to my case, I don't think that his crimes against me are worthy of incarceration. If you're the DA, how do you feel about Stormy Daniels giving interviews like these? She's a potential witness. Yeah, I wouldn't be too worried about the, whether or not she thinks uh, President Trump should go to jail for this for this alleged crime. But I would be concerned, as I would as would any prosecutor, about a witness, a potentially important witness, going out and giving interviews. And Alvin Bragg has that problem in spades. He's got Michael Cohen, who frequently goes out and gives interviews. You have Stormy Daniels giving interviews. And Alvin Bragg and every prosecutor in the world knows that when that happens, the defense is sitting there with a legal pad taking notes and they may even try to introduce the interview itself in video to the jury if there's anything inconsistent mm-hmm. with which what, what they plan to testify about. But, you know, the reality is prosecutors are prepared for the fact that witnesses, witnesses like cooperating witnesses, which is what Michael Cohen is akin to, uh, those are people that have credibility problems. And so they know that they're ready for it. But certainly Alvin Bragg is not happy that witnesses, potential witnesses are out there giving interviews. It would be the same problem if the defense had important witnesses that were out there doing the same. It's unnecessary risk uh, because for Alvin Bragg and for all the litigants here, uh, the only uh, important ballgame is the trial, not interviews.